welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates where I'm joined in the studio today by Professor El Sayed Azuz who is the Vice President for Radio Spectrum Affairs for the National Telecommunications Regulatory Authority of Egypt. Uh, Professor Azuz, welcome to the studio. Thank you for this invitation and uh, welcome. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about the fact that there's considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies, on ICTs, as an enabler for good, for development, for the benefit of people, families, communities and nations. And I wanted to ask you, what is your perspective on this? Before I speak about my perspective, I want to tell you I'm a board member of the National Telecommunication Regulatory Authority of Egypt. And also, I am a board member of the Media Authority of Egypt, and the third is a board member for the Space Council of Egypt also. And here, I am the vice chairman of the council for 2018, and the chair for the extraordinary session. Uh, tomorrow, maybe I will be the chair for the next session, 2019, for the council. And from my, in, in my perspective for the, uh, this issue, for the, the communication, the communication is mainly used to ease the life for the people. This is the main issue. And this is done usually by introducing this ease of life in many directions, in the health and education, in marketing, in transportation, in everything. And this is done usually starting in Egypt by developing some of the new cities called smart cities. And this is by the new capital of Egypt. And there is other three, we started by four, I mean. And still there is a set of uh, cities, new cities that will be built as smart cities. Also, we look to uh, transfer the current cities to be smart cities also to, because we cannot move all the people from the cities that they are left into another or a new cities. And this is required mainly to have uh, a good infrastructure reach to every place in Egypt, introduce a new technology, a new communication to deliver the new services for the residents or the citizens of Egypt uh, with a, a high quality, with reasonable prices, and to be available for everyone. And we need to reach to the unreached people or the unserved people or non-served people or less served people and we need to reach for them by the communication means. Now this plenipotentiary conference is the first since the world adopted the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I wanted to ask you, in terms of ICTs, how are they helping to drive sustainable development in your country? Yeah, we work on the four direction for sustainable, which is the, uh, the innovation, the sustainability, the development and the, a lot of issues we work in Egypt to this uh, the goals to achieve. Uh, one of them is, as I mentioned, we build the new cities uh, to be smart cities, to, uh, to be sustainable and also the infrastructure we need to, uh, in Egypt now, we're working on uh, in changing all the infrastructure to be on fiber optics with the broadband or with wide bandwidth to uh, reach for all the new technologies with the, which require uh, mainly the, the bandwidth and not to, to, to put it in a bottleneck for the transmission. So we need to change the, trans the transmission links to be all on fiber links. And in terms of connecting people to the internet, about half the world's people are connected to the internet, the other half is not. What is Egypt doing to get everyone connected? Oh, yeah, the people do a lot for this direction, according to uh, the uh, directive, directions from, or the directive, or the, uh, the thing is uh, guided by the president of Egypt. This is, a, we have uh, now building a 79 new roads in Egypt, to reach each place, and these roads will be covered by all means of communication, by the infrastructure for fiber uh, optics and the uh, mobile stations, and also the public safety to uh, save the life for the people through the, uh, that using these roads. Uh, moreover, for that we uh, also, uh, the, the new cities and the uh, infrastructure that reach to each place. Egypt 
in 2019 will launch the first satellite for communication. This is will uh, let the uh, connection for the internet and for the communication, uh, the telecommunication services will be easy for the borders, for the, uh, uh, the rural area that not connected easily with the fiber. So this is Egypt doing a lot like that. And the, the, the 78 roads, it's equivalent to 8,000 kilometers. Uh, each, this is new roads, it's done now. We, we finish approximately more than 35% uh, from them. We are now continuing. This year we'll finish also approximately to reach over 50% or something like that from the new routes that reach to every place in uh, Egypt to reach to the unserved areas mainly and to cover all the communication on the routes to have a safe life for the people through using these uh, new routes. Finally, I'd just like to say to you, uh, give you an opportunity essentially to uh, pass a message on here to participants here at the IT Plenipotentiary Conference, but also to our wider audience as well, perhaps talking uh, a little bit about uh, as a, an event uh, next year. I know happening in Shamar Sheikh, for example. Yeah. E Egypt to do all the appropriate or required actions to reach by the conference WRC19 to be the successful one done in the ITU from the beginning. We built a new convention center especially for that and now it is open and it is, uh, there is two conferences uh, uh, already uh, held in this uh, convention center. That's the World Radio Communication Conference 2019 yeah. being held in Sheikh. Yeah, this, is, will, this will be uh, held in this convention, the new convention center. And uh, also we introduce a huge capacity for the internet to that place to cover all the requirements for the people joining the WRC. Uh, I think next week on the on Geneva we will present a video related to what's in uh, Sharm el Sheikh Convention Center, and uh, this is uh, under uh, the, the uh, also the president uh, of Egypt, uh, Mr. Sisi, usually guided and usually follow these actions and uh, he is supporting a lot for the telecommunication in Egypt to be uh, the highest uh, uh, sector in Egypt working and they uh, give uh, a lot of uh, support for the, uh, this uh, division or the sector. And uh, in Egypt also uh, for the, the new uh, uh, WRC, which is WRC 19, we will uh, do a mechanism for uh, 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 reservation for the hotels, for transportation, for everything inside Sharm Sheikh to let the people enjoy by Sharm Sheikh only. Not uh, Sharm Sheikh, but with a, a lot of places in Egypt in addition to joining with the WRC also. This is what uh, uh, I, I'm supposing is that it will be happening, inshallah, and we will reach to a successful conference by supporting all the people, by supporting the ITU mainly, because uh, everything is done under the supervision of ITU. Well, Professor Azuz, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today, and we hopefully will catch up with you very soon, perhaps in Shama Sheikh. Perhaps before that on the council. Wonderful. <laughs> thank you very much thank for you very much inviting indeed. me and it is a pleasure for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.